Yo, what's good? So, uh, as you guys see, this is a little bit of like some, I guess like behind the scenes of me trying to take a thumbnail. This was for the last YouTube video. So, in this YouTube video, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm about to hit y'all back to back to back. Yes, sir, ski! It's the kid, no cap, Cole. Um, today, we it is shipping day. So, I have a couple things I have to ship out. Um, and I was like, you know what? A good video idea would be to record my shipping day. So, I'll go over with, with you guys. So, today, um, as you see, these dunks are behind me. It's probably the thumbnail of the last YouTube video. Um, I've been getting these a lot. The Panda Dunks, I've been getting them a lot. This is not even like all the ones that I've been getting through the YouTube videos. Um, we've actually shipped out, I'm not sure, but 20 besides this. Um, again, I appreciate all of you guys that are watching my videos. And especially you guys that are shopping off me. I definitely, I, I would love that you guys watch the videos. But the ones that shop off me, they help me pay my own bills. You know, take care of like what I can take care of. And hopefully be able to take care of, you know, my own family one day. Um, not like my own family, but like I want to take care of the family that I have now um, one day by myself. Um, but we're going to be going to ship out. We're packaging out some Panda Dunks. Um, I'm going to check like when we start getting started with shipping day, like how much it is exactly. Uh, but yeah, think about 20 pairs. We've shipped or sold before. These right here behind us, this is, I don't even, 24 pairs, 24 pairs right here, um, but pending on. So, uh, we're going to get started and start getting these shipping supplies. I guess I'll walk out through what I do. So, first, I can look at me, I can look at me a little bit more. So. Every time before, sh or every time of shipping, that I have an assistant. His name is DJ. Uh, his the at name for our shipping page is at No Cap Ships. He runs it for me. Big shout out to DJ. He always makes sure I have my shipping labels. So I have people's shipping labels here. I'm not gonna get too close uh, to the shipping labels because obviously I don't want to show their addresses. But I printed them out already. He has them ready for me about 1:30 a.m. every Tuesday, and then I guess the same time for Friday. We ship every Tuesday and Friday. So if you shop with me, your package will will be going out either Tuesday or on a Friday. It just depends like, on when you catch payment for the last shipping day. It is usually like the day before. I think I print out most of them. If you guys are sending in like shipping labels, like you can do that. Like if you don't want to pay our shipping and you have like a label plug or you can make it for cheaper, we have no problem with that. You can literally send it in. We print it out. We use that. Um, we do highly recommend that y'all use UPS though, because USPS in Atlanta is not that good. Guys that you guys set your own shipping labels, I gotta do four AW pandas, a seven and a half and a nine and a half go out to one person, a 10, two 10 and a halves, an 11 and two 11 and a halves with their own label. We also gotta ship out another seven and a half, a six and a half panda, a eight W panda, a Jordan, Jordan nine, 440 mystery box, Air Jordan 4 cool gray, and then Panda 6.5, 8W, 8.5, and 9.5W. So that is who I at least, my assistant told me that I got to ship today. Um, there is like a couple, like two, one person I got to ask them about because I still have, I sticky the tab like people's sneakers like when they pay for them, um, like where I keep my inventory and stuff. So there is somebody I think he might be missing, but I'm about to double check with him. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and start getting these boxes ready. Some are single, some people buy bulk. Y'all basically just gonna see me as I go through. I'll probably talk throughout the shipping, but I'm gonna be moving too. Like, Off-white rubber dunk size 10, and a dunk size 10 U. Jazz, you got an AW Panda. Wilson, you got a seven and a half. And those are DS. So we're bringing you back right over here. I'm gonna do those single first and then the anything like, more like two or three pairs. Gotta look for a seven and a half and eight. Oh, eight? Hella eight at the front. Oh, eight, eight, seven and a half, right here. So how I box up, um, honestly, I'm gonna get like boxes right quick and like literally show you how I ship these shoes. These are shipping boxes that I use. I reuse some, I also buy a lot from Home Depot, and I also purchase from Uline. Um, this is the one I'm reusing. So I'm reusing that box. And then these are brand new ones. These are brand new ones. And then, let me get the business cards right quick. Well, we got a seven and a half. And we got an eight W. So this is how I ship. Uh, let's say we got this box right here. It's already pre-made, right? It's a U-line box. 
These are go for about like 78 cents. We order on Uline in bulk. Um, after, you know, shipping and stuff. They ship it as a pallet and it's like one day shipping, which I would definitely tell y'all to buy Uline boxes. They're really great. Um, boxes come out to about a little, probably a little over a dollar to change. Um, again, this is why I charge for shipping because I gotta pay for this stuff. And then you gotta remember, you gotta pay for tape. I always keep hella tape, hella boxes. Um, I also pay for business cards. So I got my no cap quote business cards. I actually show you them up close. I put them in like every package. They say no cap coal, have some sneakers on the front, a little bit of a slight little design. I got the QR code on my Instagram and some other stuff you can follow me at. So I put like one of these in like each one of my boxes. So it's something with like kind of like my receipt when you buy from me. Not receipt, but proof that you got it from the kid. The seven and a half first, which is this one right here. So how I'll package it, nine times out of ten, I usually don't take them all like this to take a picture but I sometimes do but if I do I make sure I put it back like that so I put the shoe in like I make sure like this paper matches up to how the crease was in the thing so actually it wasn't even this way it was this shoe right here and then I'll put just like how I got it like or how they show you from the store that's how I be trying to make sure people got their shoes I'll put a business card right here one in the middle close it put it in here put it in the box we take up the box, we take up the box like that. I'll probably do like one more across here. Oh, let me go on that side. Cause I try to make like, keep it sealed. Cause obviously you can easily take away one piece of tape. And yes, you can take away two pieces of tape, but try to make it at least let the buyer feel like they're a little bit more safe when they shop with me. I'll at least tape it down a little bit more. I'll get the label for the shoe and I print on label stickers. So. They come right off. I'll put it right here. And boom. I'm not gonna show you the address, but that's the shoe ready to be shipped. I'll box that right here. The next one we got is the size eight panda. And let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. Like you just more videos of like my life, what I do behind the camera. Um this stuff I use just don't record. I just do this stuff early in the morning or whatever. So I can get it out the way. See, I'm putting it just like how they gave me the shoe. Closing it just how that crease was with the box paper. Closing it, oh wait, 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 can't forget the business card. Can't forget the business card. Got to. Business card, close. Double check the size, AW. And get one of these red things or some, some type of tech dispenser. If you're planning on like selling sneakers and you're gonna be shipping boxes, well, what'll change your life to get that little red thing or any tape dispenser. I'll put the label on like that. Boom. So that's two. Uh, what's the next one we gotta do? I can build some boxes for stuff that I gotta box up over there that we took down already. Oh, so I'm selling these pendants, right? I've been putting them on my Instagram. Uh, so I haven't been posting on any like seller apps or anything like that. Um, nine times out of ten, I sell on my Instagram, bro. Um, I feel blessed that I can't even do, or I'm put in a situation to where I can do that. Um, and it's amazing. Uh, and I love, you know, that I get to talk to the customer um, before they even make a purchase. And I will be having a website soon. Um, so it'll be easier for some people to buy off of me. But I know some people really love buying, like, sneakers off of Instagram. And I really enjoy it. Honestly, like, I really don't have that much of a problem. I just get, to, I just have to reply, get to talk to y'all instead of, you know, just being like, oh, here, 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 here. At least I get to see your profile picture and know a little bit about you. Okay, so we got those two boxes done. We need a big Home Depot box. I used to sell shoes to apps like on Goat and stuff like that. Um, when I first started reselling, so don't even think like I'm trying to downplay if you sell on apps because bro, I literally, I lived off Goat. Like not just sold off Goat, I literally lived off Goat. Um, so if you sell off apps, bro, like and you make money, don't listen to know what anybody's saying just make your money um i got those two so far we need the rest are i think they're big boxes the other ones that we got to do that's this one right here all right and after that i think i just gotta do like the ball pandas and stuff and we'll be straight business card y'all see it man Drop the business card, show in the box, 
drop the business card, shoe in the box. So I always double check too, because I hate shipping people the wrong shoes. Because I ship, I, obviously I'm shipping, you know, a certain amount of shoes. I have made mistakes before. I'm not gonna come on here and tell you I've made no mistakes on here. But I hate when I make them because I pay for them. I don't charge the other person to ship the shoe back. Like, no, I pay for the label. Um, and then they just, they DM my assistant. Uh, so again, listen to this if you ever have, like, you have a problem with me. Um, that person DM my assistant, let's say, for example, somebody gets the wrong shoe size. Um, that person will DM my assistant. My assistant will make a return label for them out of our po my pockets. Um, and uh, they ship the shoe back, and I'll ship them the right shoe back out again uh, with the label out of my pocket. So, um, I always got to double check and be like, make sure I'm on it. Box. Always got to remember the business card, bro. If you got a business card for your sneaker business, definitely show your stuff, bro. Make sure you got it in everybody's face. Put that, put it in their face. Take off said that during the, uh, a song, and I've been using that as like one of my models. Everything. Just make sure it's in there, bro. If you're trying to sell something, just make sure they can't ignore you. So we got our used shoes right here. We still sell used and we still sell new. Um, I'm probably never gonna stop selling used. I'm probably never gonna stop selling new. I feel like both make money. Uh, I feel like certain people only buy. Some people just buy used. Some people buy new. Um, and I want to make sure I can reach both of those, you know, clientele. So I want to stretch my business as far as I can. Okay. Jordan 4 Kroger's, 11 and a half. The next one we got at ship is the Jordan 9's, I think they're called the City of Flights. Bro, okay, well, now y'all gonna see me get to use, like, open a box, because I forgot to put this sticker in that other box. So the Jordan 9 City of Flights business card. See, look, y'all watching me watch our mate live mistakes right now. All right, now, let me go get my samurai sword. I literally use a sword to open boxes. Is this the, yeah, this is the right one. So this is literally how I open it. Y'all yeah, probably think it's like dangerous. Nah. I'll be smooth with it. Look at that. Clean with the sword. Put this in here. Again, that's why I always buy so much tape, bro. I can make mistakes easily and I'll have to retape something. Make sure. Always stock up on tape. Pandas, six and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine. I know there's an eight right here. This person's probably just gonna get like two cuz I mean I gotta get some more for there but there's no need to put that many in there since they're all going to the same spot. One time I almost shipped somebody the wrong suit after like taking a picture like this and it was like two right shoes and I had to make sure. We love selling pandas man. Y'all got any pandas to sell? Let me know. We will definitely see what we can do with them. And then there's also some like comfort stuff in here for the boxes. All right, y'all. So basically, the camera had stopped like while I was recording the last time. But I wanted to show y'all what we got done. So we basically, we're honestly, we're really done. I just stopped to show y'all. We are. We do be shipping out pandas in bulk and stuff in bulk. I do sell sneakers in bulk. Um, these also. Um, these are painted on. So we literally got like, all these like in the past few weeks, um, and they're all gone. We literally only have no, right, not all gone. A ten and a, one ten and a half, a twelve and a fourteen. 
Other than that, all the pen, I'm literally wiped out of pandas. Um, I just finished packaging the rest and these right here in front of me. I got, got the labels on these already. Um, I wanted to show y'all this. This is going in this uh, box right here. It's a mystery box. They're getting the University Gold. Let me show you up, folks. University Gold off white in their mystery box. So, slight little banger. And yes, we do sell mystery boxes still. Um, for this mystery box, I'm literally going to have to like make the box and literally like cut it with a sword. Y'all gonna see that in a few. Let me just put these together right quick. I know y'all see the shipping. We got the good bags in here. I'm saying a Brite. We got good Champs JD, Foot Locker. Um, I use those bags, bro, because A, protect your shoes, B, I got it with the shoes. And I also do that, like, if some people don't, I want to say if don't, I don't believe I'm getting my shoes from the store, but I'm literally getting them from the store, so that's why I have so many bags, so I may as well use them to comfort or help the shoes from being damaged. Um, but I got JDs in there, Foot Lockers, Hippo Sports. So shout out to y'all for shopping with the kid, man. Like, literally, if I cry, bro, it would bring tears in my eyes, for real. But I appreciate every single one of y'all shopping. Um, I think this is for SF.Bricks. So SF.Bricks, if you're watching this, shout out to you, my guy. If you did know, I worked, I worked out a good deal for him, too. Dang, it wasn't just, he got lucky. Like, yeah, I'm kind of good morning. And I was getting these. All right, bet. So this is done. Now we just gotta do this. Now, this is how I make boxes if it don't fit. I'd recommend y'all to do this too, but I use my samurai sword. And I cut it down to where I will be folding the box at. Right here. Make sure it's good on both sides. Yep, so. I will close it like this to test it out. And I'll cut on this side. Oh. Gotta watch out when I cut the actual box like other shoes. This is the Jamaican way, man. straightened out. I don't know if it'll come up because I left a little space in the middle. Right oh yeah, it'll fly out. It'll be straight. still tight in there. And then I'll tape it like this. This is what happens when you run out of boxes. This is why I bought a lot of boxes because I literally run out and I have to ship like you can literally make any amount of shoes on shipping days. It could be four shoes, two shoes, one shoe, five shoes. Like, I don't know. I just gotta be ready for it. And since this box looks like this, we tape it up extra good to make sure UPS don't get no ideas. Because tell me out in Atlanta. They do not care. The guy's truth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me in the house. Um, expect more videos like this, y'all, because my allergies, my allergies, y'all. It, 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 it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't this year, bro. I can't do it this year. Not outside. Um, but again, here's the that's the end, slight little shipping blase, blase. But appreciate you for watching this video. Make sure, you're, oh, hold on, y'all can't even see me. Make sure you like. Comment. Whoa, y'all really can't see me. Hold on. Make sure everybody. PSA, PSA. Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. 
Kitty Kid. Um, yeah, appreciate you watching this video.